In this video, I'll be helping you with the Alex problem type called Solving a Rational Inequality Problem Type 1. We're given our inequality here where on the left hand side we have an expression. In this case, it's a quotient that is greater than zero. And one thing to keep in mind is that whenever we have an expression that's greater than zero, we're really saying where is this expression positive? And to do that, I'm going to look at both pieces, starting with the numerator. We have x plus 7, so I'll start by seeing where does x plus 7 equal 0. Solving for x by subtracting the 7 over, I can see that when x equals negative 7, that numerator will be 0. And then looking at the denominator, I really don't want the denominator to be 0, but I want to find out where it's 0. And to find out where x minus 4 equals 0, here I would add the 4 over to the other side, giving me an x equals 4. So I have two points here where the factors on that left hand side would be equal to 0. Next I'll take those two points and create a chart. The two zeros that we found, negative 7 and 4, putting them in order from smallest to largest, I would put the negative 7 first, and I'll begin by looking at that numerator, x plus 7. If I substitute in a value for x that's greater than negative 7, this would be a positive expression. And if I substitute a value in less than negative 7, then it would be negative. Then for the denominator, x minus 4, if I plug a value in greater than 4, it would be positive. Less than 4 would give me a negative in the denominator. And since we're looking for where that expression is greater than zero, that would be where it is positive. Dividing a negative by a negative would give me a positive. Dividing a positive by a negative would be negative. And a positive over a positive would again be positive. So that quotient would be positive or greater than zero to the left of negative seven and to the right of four. So using interval notation, I would describe that as negative infinity, non-inclusive, to negative 7. Looking back at our question, since it's not greater than or equal to, I don't want to include the negative 7. It's just greater than 0. And then a union on the right-hand side, we have 4 to infinity. I always want to be careful to make sure that the denominator is not equal to zero. So I'm not including four, even if this would have been greater than or equal to zero on the right hand side. I want to make sure that I exclude where the denominator is equal to zero. So four non-inclusive to positive infinity. This would describe where the quotient on the left hand side is positive. 